One of the biggest challenges of studying and working in the US, especially as an international student, is the visa challenges. Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and welcome to 30 Days of Robotics. In the last video, we talked about OPT and STEM OPT and in today's video, we're going to talk about H1B. So in the three years work authorization that you have as OPT and STEM OPT on your F1 visa, basically everyone who qualifies through their company puts in an application for H1B. Again, this is your company that will put in your application for H1B and you can only apply it through one company. Around April, all of these applications go in and then they conduct a lottery and only these many applications get selected. Now, there are set number for bachelors and additional 20,000 for master's students. If your lottery is selected, you get to apply for the visa and you have until October to go through the entire process. And if it is approved, then you get your H1B starting October 1st. Now, another thing to note is that you need to go and get your H1B stamped on your passport. This H1B visa is valid valid for three years and you can also extend it. Now you generally get three chances during your OPT and STEM OPT extension period. But there is a fourth chance as well. Let's say before graduation, if you got a job offer and the company is willing, you can apply for the H-1B lottery. This will be based on your bachelor's degree, even if it was not a bachelor's that you did in the US. A friend of mine did this and he was able to get his H-1B even before he graduated and he never went through the OPT or STEM OPT period. Now, because H-1B is a lottery system, there is a chance that you might not get selected. In the next video, I'm going to talk about different options you can pursue if you don't get your H-1B. So make sure to subscribe for more.